quite a few of the people I encounter with the mentality, I want to lose as much weight as possible as quickly as possible. And that's fine, but they don't always understand everything that comes with that. Everything that comes with weight loss, let alone extreme weight loss. And of course, remember, we mean fat loss. And I'm not just talking about things like the physical changes to your body. It's also important to remember that, especially if you've done things sensibly, what you've done to get yourself where you are now, you'll likely have to keep doing, at least in terms of calorie intake. This will have to become the new standard you work from. So you've probably had to drastically alter your diet. And really, most of those alterations are going to have to stick for the weight loss to stick. If you don't like your new diet, you might be stuck with it or risk falling back into old habits. What you've done to get yourself to this point isn't necessarily the only way or the best way for you, but you probably don't understand that. And you probably don't understand how to do anything else. So you think you've got no options available. You've cut out most of the foods you actually enjoy, thinking that's the only way to achieve this weight loss. That's why in most cases, weight loss doesn't last. And the individual ends up putting most or all of that weight back on because they think it's an either or situation. And eventually they crack and they want their old diet back. You make radical changes in a short period of time and you think that's job done, but that's not sustainable. So make sure it's something that is. Now, when you lose body fat, especially rapidly, you might find you end up with a lot of loose skin. And no one is ever really aware of that or certainly aware of the extent to which it can happen or how long it takes or how long it can take for it to regain its shape. It can take years in some cases. In extreme cases, you might need surgery to remove some of it. And the mental stress during this period can be immense. Now, Exercise might help with loose skin, or at least maintaining muscle mass might help with it. Now those physical changes can and often will result in changes to your mentality. For instance, the way you look at yourself. Hopefully, it will always be positive, but the changes to your body for many people might be positive initially, and then as you start to see a more definite shape to your body, you might fall back into that same old pattern of self-loathing, albeit in a slightly different way. Rather than hating yourself for being fat or obese, you might start to nitpick at parts of your body, wanting improvement in various areas. People often forget or, or don't know that even if you look and feel healthy, that doesn't necessarily stop you from hating your body or the way you look. Maybe, maybe it becomes a healthier form of hate, but that can still lead to bulimia or steroid abuse, etc. in this new pursuit of what you believe to be perfection or being better. It just shifts the focus of hate. And then it might sound bizarre, but there are aspects such as how other people will start to view you. When you lose a lot of weight, it almost goes without saying, you'll look like a totally different person. So you might find that people start to treat you differently. And more importantly, your partner might start to view you in a different light. Again, you hope this is a positive change, but it could also negatively affect the relationships around you. We've all heard the classics of, oh, you were more fun when you were fat because you won't neck 10 pints or go for that late night kebab. Or even a partner resenting the new body you have, especially if it makes them feel self-conscious about theirs. It certainly isn't unheard of for someone to try and sabotage their, their partner's um, progress through jealousy, fear or, or a need to control. Now, for most people who want it, 
I would always encourage healthy weight loss. But I also think it's very important that you understand and you're aware of the changes and not just the number around your waist. Okay, you will become a healthier person, but it might not come without its trials. Be aware of that. Focus on the positives and do things in the best and most manageable way for you. See you next week.